Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Sasha Green and I do visual effects and I also do some cinematography as well. But today I wanted to kind of focus more on how you can do match moving or 3D camera tracking in After Effects to bring your visual effect ideas to life. So go and grab whatever camera you have and shoot some footage. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is the footage that I shot is very flat and dull so there's not much detail to track so what we're going to want to do to help after effects match move our footage or 3d track our footage is just go ahead and go to the effects bar and grab an unsharp mask effect and you're just going to drag that onto your clip and duplicate that three times with different percentages so you're going to have different percentages of the same effect so once we have our footage with all that sharpening on it, what we can do next is go and pre-comp your footage and click the move all attributes. All that's gonna do is just keep the effect onto the footage so once we track it, it'll retain all that sharpening detail. All right, and then all you're gonna wanna do is go into the effects tab again and you're gonna type in 3D camera track. Go ahead and drag that 3D camera tracker effect onto your footage that's pre-comped. Then under the advanced section, you're gonna wanna hit detail analysis and that's just gonna help After Effects do a better job at looking at the footage and tracking it more accurately. All right, so now just let After Effects do its thing. It's gonna run through your footage, tracking it. So once it finishes all of its tracking, you're gonna start to see all these colorful points. So the next thing you could do is scroll through your timeline to where you want your effect to be in your footage. And then wherever you want, right click on one of the points and create a solid. So all that is doing is just creating a solid in 3D space within your scene. So now if you scroll through your timeline, your solid should be staying in its spot within 3D space. And boom, there you go, you got it. So once I've situated where I want my solid to be positioned within my scene, to make sure that my solid is selected and then go ahead and hold down Alt and drag in my image that I wanna place onto the wall. So once I have my solid replaced with the image that I want, it's probably not gonna be scaled correctly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and resize the way I want my image to fit onto the wall. Once that's all done, it's looking pretty sweet. Next thing that I have to do is do some compositing to make that kind of blend in within the scene a little more. I did this really quickly. If I spent more time on it, it could look way better, obviously. But for this case, I think it works good enough. I went ahead and just tried to match the saturation and contrast levels with the scene. I did that by adding an effect called a tint effect and dragging that onto my image that's on the wall and trying to selecting the darkest parts of my footage and the brightest parts of my footage and, and then just having that tint effect be at like 90%. So the next thing I did was just to add a hue and saturation effect onto my image on the wall to kind of mess around with the brightness of the image to match my footage even more. And then I added a real smart motion blur effect as well and kind of just had that on a lower percentage. And then the last effect that I put on it was a levels effect. And that was just to kind of finalize making sure my contrast was matching my footage a little better. So once I finish all of those adjustments, I'll go ahead and start the rotoscoping process. Because if you see, once the camera goes behind the pillar a little more, the image on the wall starts to look like it's in front of the pillar, but that's incorrect, it should be behind it. So to make that happen, we're gonna have to rotoscope that pillar out. And that was actually super duper easy using the Mocha AE effect. So all I did to do that was duplicate my main footage, put it on top of all my layers, and went ahead and grabbed that Mocha AE effect put that on the footage, went inside, and then just started rotoscoping out the pillar.
Once that's done, I'll close Mocha, make sure I save it, and then I'll go ahead and create After Effects masks with it. And so that'll just transfer that data onto my footage that I want. And boom, it's already looking better. So the last thing that I did when creating this scene, I also went ahead and did a sky replacement for our sky because when filming it was very gloomy and dull and boring. Okay, cool. And so that's the overview on how you can do your 3D tracking or match moving in After Effects. So if you have any cool ideas in mind you wanna try out, go ahead and do it. It's super fun. All right guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something from it. Thanks for stopping by guys and I'll see you next week. See ya.